Welcome to all of my friends. It is Andrew here from Apple Insider. We are taking a look at over two dozen changes here in iOS 14 Beta 2. Let's go ahead and dive right in. We have our new Beta 2 on the right and the initial build here on the left. The first change is the new calendar icon. As you can see, the new one is here on the top and it has an abbreviated name for the day of the week compared to the bottom. It definitely looks a lot cleaner. The second icon change is the clock icon. It's hard to see from further away, but when you put them next to each other, the change is apparent. Apple has definitely made the hands thicker in the new one again there on the top. Widgets, of course, are a big thing in iOS 14, and Apple's continue to approve them in the second beta. When we go ahead and jump into jiggle mode and tap on that plus button, if we search for files on our initial build of iOS 14, you see nothing comes up. But in the new version, we do have new options for file widgets. There's both a medium and a large version of the recents for files. As you can see, we haven't opened anything in files here on our new phone. So we're going to move over, jump into the files app, open up my iPhone 12 image from earlier today, and boom, we have our recent file there in the files app. Really slick and of course there's the medium and large versions of the new files widget. Another one that I want to show off is the new reminders widget. Now we did have the reminders widget in the first build of iOS 14, but in the beta 2 version of iOS 14, it looks a little bit different. Here you can see that it's been reworked a bit, we have icons moved around, and we have that most recent task there at the bottom, as well as just the count. So it's really mainly the medium and the small ones that got a bit of an overhaul. And we also saw actually in the reminders have some tweaks to how emojis are displayed, uh, the icons for the list themselves. So some small tweaks to the reminders widget, and just adding widgets in general has been updated very slightly if we go to look at something like batteries. Notice the color here at the bottom for adding widgets. It actually reminds me a little bit of the music app where it kind of would adapt to the background of whatever you're looking at. That's what it's doing here. So it kind of depending on the app or the widget that you're adding, the button at the bottom will change colors to essentially mimic that. So a really small touch there, but I love that Apple thinks of these things. If we bippity bop over to the podcast app, another small change here, Apple has tweaked the icons down there in the bottom, swapping the icons for a library and browse. Obviously on the new one on the right hand side, browse is the second option and library is the third option in the four tabbed categories. When you are deleting an app in the latest version of iOS 14, they have reworked the delete text. Now, even though I did it on the feedback app, it was a terrible example because it's not um, the same as all the other ones. It still actually has the delete button there, but add to library has changed to remove from home screen. So if you tap on that, it'll keep it in the library, but remove it from your home screen. And of course, delete is still an option on either version. Just you can't remove feedback assistant from a beta, of course. If we go into the home app, and there's a small change here for HomePod, if you're running the HomePod AudioOS um, version of 14, you can now actually set your defaults for audiobooks, uh, music, and uh, music, audiobooks, and podcasts. So you can set those defaults now on HomePod. Tracking report has changed to privacy report. As you can see, tra tracking report there on the left, it's now been renamed privacy report. And if we look at our old one, we couldn't actually access the trackers here. Now you can do that. You can jump between websites and the trackers. You could do that on Big Sur, but you can now do it here in iOS 14. Just another bug that was kind of cleaned up along the way. They rework the notification text here. Location services is off. Uh, you can tap on that, jump into the settings, and turn location services on if you so choose. We don't have it activated here, but the new family sharing icon is present. So we'll just update an icon for family sharing when you go into your iCloud settings on any of your new iOS 14 beta 2 devices. If we look at just something like notifications here, you can see the back thing has kind of changed. So before it was kind of saying like here, it just tells you where you're going back to like notifications. Now it just says back, but it doesn't seem to apply everywhere, but that kind of breadcrumb in the upper left hand corner has been tweaked, at least in some situations. For instance, that notifications setting panel. If we keep moving along, if we go down to reminders, you can see the time here for all day reminders has been updated. It still kind of says, you know, that 9 a.m. is the default, and you can tap on the time here to bring up a similar interface, but it's just on by default here on the iOS 14 beta 2 version. If we go down to the bottom of the reminder settings, you'll also note here, so assignment notifications, which is a toggle, now is 
the assignment reminders and its mute notifications, which is also now a toggle. So it just kind of rechanged, give it a heading, and then the actual changed name of the toggle itself. Going into the maps option, we saw this and we're not sure if this is consistent, maybe just because we haven't reported anything on our version of maps here, but that follow up by email is not a toggle inside of the new version of maps on iOS 14 beta 2. It's just something we were wondering there. Uh, let us know down below in the comments if you notice that on yours as well. If we go into music, there's no option to show Apple Music. That was a toggle in the first beta, but it's not here in beta 2 of iOS 14. And down at the bottom, we have a new privacy option. Apple Music and Privacy pulled it up and it brings up all that privacy information. You do not see that in iOS 14 beta 1. Speaking of that new kind of privacy panel, if we uh, go back a second and go into the news section, uh, you'll notice here that that is also an option. We have this newsletter and privacy as a new privacy information piece here. Pull it up, gives you all that privacy information. Just goes along with the Apple news and privacy. Now there's newsletters and privacy as well. In beta 1, when you would go into the phone option here, there was no icons for incoming calls and announced calls, but in beta 2, we have new icons to go along with. You see that green one and the red one there, they look very nice, so I'm glad that those have been added this beta time. Now, if you use mentions inside of the Messages app, you can see they are now highlighted in blue. It's much easier to see when someone mentions your name. If you're in the Music app, there's now haptic feedback whenever you're pressing any of the buttons back, forward, any of those, you'll notice that little subtle vibration as you're kind of clicking those buttons. And whenever you're pasting something from a different device, it won't just say uh, from a device, it'll actually tell you the device that it was pasted from. So in this case, Safari from Andrew's Mac Pro. But that pretty much covers it. Those are all the changes we found so far. But I want to hear from you guys. If you found more changes, let me know down below in the comments or let me know on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. Hey everyone, did you guys like that video? Be sure to click on that like button so we can create content that we know that you guys want to see. And follow Apple Insider on all social media channels. If you want the best prices on any Apple gear, check out the Apple Insider price guide that is updated daily. And until next time, we'll see you later.